My name is Robbie Vorhaus, and I'm, what, I'm a, what, I'm a, what I would really like to share with you is about you. It's not about me. It's about results. So a cab driver and a preacher went to heaven. And St. Peter, Patrick, or whoever it is, I'm a Jew, which, so I'm comfortable in here. I don't know what patron saint it was. He said, well, we're going to show you to your individual place of rest. And they, so the uh, preacher said, I'd like to see my place first. And they showed him his place. And it was very, very nice. It was comfortable and serene. But they showed the cab driver where he was going to be staying. And it was palatial. Sunshine, lots of food, lots of drink. Everything was perfect. And the preacher said, wait a minute. I can't understand this. I'm a preacher, he's a cab driver. And the, the guide said, well, that's okay. He said, when you preach, people sleep. When he drives, people pray. And we reward results here. So what I want to tell you about is results. Results of what you want to achieve in your life. Now, I coach famous people, sports stars, well-known people, and they all are like you. They're all like us. And what they want is, is that they're either in crisis or they're in a situation where something horrible has happened or something great has happened. And they want to know what they can do. How can I achieve my dreams? How can I achieve my goals? What do I do now? And so my job is to help them. And that's what I'm here to share with you. I discovered a profoundly, ridiculously simple formula that can change your life forever. And I promise you that what I'm about to tell you, you will never forget. But the problem is, is that in its simplicity, you may negate it. You may say, that's too simple. And what is that simple formula? It is one less and one more. And what that means is, is that I know from coaching people, from counseling people all over the world, that right now there's something about sex, something about relationships, something about your career, something about creativity, some dream, some addiction, some problem, some issue something in your past, something in your future that you're thinking of now. And the question is, is can I do it? What do I do? I'm so afraid. And everyone that we heard here today so profoundly touched me because they're so good at, in their area. But what if it's just getting up in the morning? and deciding to be grateful. What if it's changing our attitude? What do we do? So here's what I'd like to say. I know that one less, one more works because I'm a former teenage drug addict who was homeless, who dropped out of high school, has no college, failed marriage, lost my company, and I had heart surgery when I just went in for a regular physical and discovered that there was something wrong. And I know that by practicing one less, one more, that it works. It works because thousands of people tell me after reading my book, that one simple piece of that book changed my life. Why? Because of its simplicity. But here it is. Here's the key. Here is the secret. You have to believe in your heart of hearts, that you were born for a reason. You have to believe in your heart of hearts that you are special. You have to believe in your heart of hurt, hearts that your life is not a random act. Do you know that since the beginning of time, scientists will tell us that there have been a hundred billion people that have been on this planet before us. And that now on this planet, there are over seven billion people. 
and yet on no level, not physically, emotionally, spiritually, on any level, has there ever been another you, or you, or you, or you. Now, if you think that that's random, this is not going to work for you, and for me, for you, this probably just sounds like a lot of bullshit. But the truth is, the absolute truth is, is that the organ that starts beating first, once we are conceived, is our heart. What scientists now know is that the one organ that produces the most amount of energy is our heart. But when do you listen? When do we listen? When do we take the time to listen? Walt Disney said, dreams do come true. But we missed the whole quote. What he really said was, dreams do come true if you have the courage to follow your heart. Now, do you ever think of the word courage? Core is the Latin word for heart. Age. The age of the heart. Every important choice that we make. Big or small? What are we going to eat? Are we going to have sex with that person even though they don't love us? Are we going to get ourselves deeper in debt? Do we believe, do we have the courage to believe that we were born with a purpose? That comes from the courage of choice. And in order to do that, you need to, one, you need to do the math. You need to start now, today. It doesn't matter what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter what happens tomorrow. And you've got to choose to do one less thing in this con conscious moment that no longer feels good. Maybe it's worry. Maybe it's, maybe it's gossiping. Maybe you're in a job and you're, so, you're always complaining. But whatever it is that you know doesn't work, all you have to do is just choose one less thing today. And conversely, you need to do one more thing where you allow yourself to follow your heart, where you're willing to create something that didn't exist before, where you're willing to, as Joseph Campbell said, follow your bliss, where you're willing just to be happy, which we know by definition simply means fulfillment and peace. Listen, none of this is going to help you get out of a crisis. None of this is going to help you to avoid problems. But I ask you, do you want to be dust or ash? At the end of your life, do you want to be dust or ash? Dust is an accumulation of everyone else's things. But when you're ash, you're one thing all burned up. There's nothing left. That's what I want. That's what I want for you. That's what one less, one more is about. It's the courage to say, I am willing to pursue the adventure of my life and in each day just do one less thing that no longer feels good and one more thing that allows me to follow my bliss, to pursue the adventure. My uncle, Bernard Vorhaus, was a movie director. He directed John Wayne. And John Wayne's favorite quote is this. Ring the bell one more time. No, no. I got it. This is it. Ready for John Wayne's quote? John Wayne said, courage is being scared shitless, but saddling up anyway. So I bid you courage. One less, one more. Thank you so much. <laughs>